Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new series, and this one has been a long time coming. Welcome to Design Tech. This is my own custom mod pack that I've been working on now for, oh, probably about four months or so. Uh, it is not quite ready for a public release just yet, but it will be very, very, very soon, and I will be sure to let you all know uh, how you can get it and download it and play it for yourself. So, this is our world, and we found a beautiful spot. I, I did do a bit of playing already because, I mean, come on, you guys all know how to punch trees and get, you know, basic iron tools and all that kind of stuff. So, I didn't want to take up, you know, the entire first episode basically, you know, punching trees. So, basically, a quick couple administrative things to get out of the way. First of all, that's the seed right there if you want to go ahead and play along, and I will put that in the video description as well. It was just a random seed, and I, I believe spawn is right about here on the map, and I traveled south to right down here if you want to play along in this world. Also, I am using uh, Custom Skies, and there was a tutorial I found on YouTube. I'll link that in the video description, too. And I just followed that tutorial exactly to get this uh, Custom Skies texture pack going here. It's a modification of, I think it's a Halcyon texture pack or something like that. But what I really want to get done in this first episode is I'd really like to get some Tinker's Tools going. So I found a little bit of clay earlier. Um... I do know that I'm going to need more of it than what I have right now. So we're going to do our best to kind of get our hands on some clay here. And uh, I know I have very little, if any, sand. So let's get a bunch of this stuff too. And uh, then we'll get that smelting, get that going, and all that kind of good stuff. Now as far as the mods that are in this mod pack, there are a whole bunch of them. The basic premise of this mod pack is that much like stud tech it is a builder's mod pack with a focus on design and aesthetics and decorative blocks and things like that however different from stud tech ironically there's a lot more tech in uh in this pack than there is in stud tech uh and basically there's also a lot more decorative mods there's a whole bunch of different mods uh the, so the basic principle even though the basic kind of concept of the mod pack is the same uh it works very differently in practice this is kind of like a bigger uh more expansive version of what you would get playing the stud tech mod pack um which honestly i've pretty much kind of been like the lead developer on the stud tech mod pack now since right around the time i started working on this so i'm kind of the guy behind both of them at least in their current form um obviously stud muffin sam was the guy who originally came up with the stud tech mod pack and because of that uh i have a lot more freedom with this one to add mods to remove mods all that kind of stuff so let's take a quick look at the mod list i'm not going to go through the whole thing but we'll just take a quick glance over it uh ancient trees at the very top oh we've got vanity blocks uh ancient trees adds a whole bunch of trees you can find saplings for and then a whole bunch of various uh different types of wood we've got the auto packager which will uh craft things for you backpacks because you need backpacks bibliocraft big reactors i put in here uh because i wanted a, a fairly straightforward power source i would i wanted tech in this mod pack but i didn't want it to be uh the type of pack where you have to spend a massive amount of time kind of doing tech i wanted there to be basically enough tech that you could get stuff automated and then spend most of your time building and uh, making use of the resources that everything was that uh, all your automated stuff was gathering for you that's kind of what i was going for uh what else do we have in here Big reactors, biomes of plenty, carpenter's blocks, chisel two, cosmetic armor will let you equip uh, basically any armor for cosmetic purposes only. Uh, so if you have an armor that looks cool and an armor that is actually practical, you can you can have the best of both worlds. Uh, custom NPCs, deco craft, uh, dense ores, ender IO, extra utilities, tinker's construct, forestry, micro blocks, futuristic decor, garden containers, garden stuff. Iron chests and Java barrels, lat blocks, that's uh, one you might not have heard of. Malice's doors, 
Mine Factory Reloaded, Crayfish, Nat, uh, Natura. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in here uh, that will basically give you a ton of options when building uh, and when doing tech as well. There's some some good stuff in there as far as the tech goes. I wouldn't say that the technological aspect of this mod is or this uh, pack is breaking any new ground. Uh, it's pretty standard on the tech side. You know, you got your big reactors, you got your Ender IO, you have thermal expansion and mine factory reloaded, and and I'm drowning. I am drowning. Drown. Get get to the surface. Okay, there we go. Uh, so not really a whole lot of new ground there. Ooh, there goes my shovel. All right. Well, I suppose we should probably head back to our little home, and uh, we might have enough now that we can actually make some uh, some grout and some of that good stuff. So let's see. Our house... Well, it's not really a house. It's more of a hidey hole than anything else. Should be right over... here, I think. Look at this. We are approximately five minutes into this Let's Play. I've got a map. And I'm already lost. Typical, typical Wells Knight. Typical Wells Knight. This is what happens. That's all right. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know where we are. Let's eat some of these berries up. Uh, these are added from, I think, the Natura mod. And they're a good, reliable source of early game food. There's our little hidey hole. And let's just grab some of this stuff out of here. I've got some gravel. And, ooh, wow. I'm going to need a lot more clay than what I've got right now. That is for sure. Because that's not going to be nearly enough to do, like, anything. Okay. So, let's make a bunch of grout. Um, hmm. And the rest of this we'll just kind of put away for the time being. And we've got five furnaces. So, we'll just spread this all out. Over uh, grout clay. Here we go. Okay. So we'll need four in all of them. And then we'll do. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. And then five in those two. Okay. Awesome. Let's get that stuff cooking up. And then I think I'm going to have to make myself another... Sh oh, I don't have any iron. Oh, sad face. Okay. I need more sand. I need more gravel. And I need more clay. I guess I'll just make a stone shovel for the moment. That's fine. So while that's cooking up, let's grab... What did I need? Sand? I need gravel. Gravel's what I needed. That's right. All right, let me get some of this stuff done, guys, and I will be back once I have a little bit more progress. All right, guys, I am back, and we've got plenty more grout smelting up. I've got a whole bunch of stuff already made, uh, but we will need some of this other... Oh, what am I doing? We'll need some of this other stuff, like a seared tank, uh, controller, all that kind of good stuff. And I will also need a bucket for lava. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves some of these seared bricks because we are going to need quite a few and we're, we do have more smelting at the moment so we will be just fine now as for the location you know what i think i'm just gonna put it right here for the moment because why not so let's just carve out a little spot like this do i want to do it there no i think i'd rather push it one more this direction. And we're just going to go a 3x3 three three smeltery. And keep it nice and simple. There we go. And then let's see. We're going to have a smeltery controller and a tank. We'll need that over here. Uh, you can disappear. And then we'll put... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it all on this side. 
I don't think I'm going to have quite enough. Oh, I will. I'll have just enough to do this the way that we want. Okay. Sweet. Let's grab some more seared bricks. And now we got to make some other stuff. So we need three of those. We need one of those. And two of those. And we also need spouts, but we can put those in momentarily. Let's just grab some of this stuff. So we'll go one, two, three. Over here, we'll put our controller and our tank. We'll put our casting table there and our basins over here, I think. Why am I getting a goofy little graphics glitch? That's kind of weird. I should probably mention the reason that I'm not using uh, shaders for this, because all of my other modded series, I'm using shaders. Uh, I got, I'm, I'm, I decided to go with custom skies and with the vanilla texture pack because I, shaders, as much as I love them and as beautiful as they make everything, they do have a tendency to cause some pretty nasty graphics glitches. So I decided to just kind of go without them. Uh, at least in this case. Now, we do need to find ourselves some lava. Let's see, where are we? Right here? Hmm. Looks like there's a little bit down here. And there's a bunch of it over there. Uh, let's try going around this way first, and we'll see if maybe we can get our hands on this lava, because that would be the best solution. Um, dirt. Jump. Jump. Not really sure where this lava is, though, that's coming out of the mountain. Um, looks like it's over there somewhere. At least, from what I can see on the map, that's what it looks like. I don't know if I can get over there, though. Ooh, this will be close. This will be really close, man. How do I even, like, get over there? Can't get over there from this side. Is it just pouring from... Ooh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be challenging. Maybe, I think I can probably get to it from up here. And all I really need is one bucket. Just enough to kind of get the, the smelting going. And then we'll be alright. That's kind of the plan, at least. Let's see... Climbing trees. Always a good time. There we go. Oh, oh, let's not fall. Okay. Got it. Got it. Bam. No. Wait, what? Why you no have lava in it? What? Aw. There was supposed to be lava in there. And there's not, and it makes me sad. Fine. All right, guys, I'm going to go get some lava, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and we've got a little bit of lava in our smeltery. Yay! So, the next step... Um... Okay, here we go. So, the next step is going to be to make the little... Oh, all the faucets are done. When did I finish? Okay. I thought I'd, I didn't know that I'd done that. Anyway, the next step is going to be smelt to smelt up a whole bunch of this stuff. And actually, we're going to need some casting plates as well. Um, let's take a look. You can use aluminum brass, which is... Let's see. Here we go. Aluminum and copper. And it was... What was the ratio? Uh, molten aluminum brass. Looks like one copper for every three aluminum. Okay. Well, I've got quite a bit of aluminum. I've got, let's see, 33. So that means 11 copper should be able to give me basically everything I need. If we smelt all this up and get that going. 
All right, so I'm gonna get some smelting done. And actually, the other thing we can do right away is I can go ahead and start making some of these tinkers things. Like, for example, we need a few of those. We're gonna need a tool station. We'll need a stencil table. We'll need a part builder. There we go. Oh, looks like I didn't get the stencil table properly. There we go. And we are also going to need a pattern chest. There we go. And I suppose I can go ahead and make another one of those too. There we go. All right, so let's put those out here. Um, maybe we'll just put them... Where do you want to put them? I'm thinking like right about here. We'll maybe bring this back just a tiny bit to give me some actual space to work with. That's probably the way to go. So we'll put a pattern chest here. A uh, tool station. This is the part builder. And actually the stencil table should probably go right there as well, right? No, I can't actually access it anyway. So I guess we'll put it right here. Stencil table, tool station, and there we go. All right, now this, we've got some aluminum brass, and I need to put... Am I missing resources? Did I... What did I do? What did I do? I've still got 11 copper ingots in there. Oh, here we go. I didn't put all my aluminum in like I was supposed to. There we go. Okay, so now that we have some aluminum brass, we can actually start making some parts. And that's going to be very useful. Let's go ahead. Stencil table. Here we go. And we're going to want one of those. We're going to want one of those. Excavator. Lumber axe. Tough rod. And tough binding. That should be basically everything we need right off the bat. As far as the, the stuff that I absolutely for sure want to have right now. Because the sooner I get a lumber axe and a hammer, the sooner we can really get to the good stuff. Um, I do not have nearly as much cobblestone as I thought I did. Hmm. Okay. Well, that should be fine. So, patterns can go in there. We'll put this here. And let's make a stone plate. In fact, yep, just one. Just one stone plate. A hammer. A tough binding. And then I guess I'll make the tool rod out of wood instead. Which will still work just fine. There we go. You can go back there. Okay, and then... We can go ahead and make casting plates out of these with the aluminum brass. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, are you... Are, did you... Something got messed up. I think I may have just wasted a little bit of copper. Oh no, it just... Huh, that was strange. Okay, whatever. Alright guys, I'm going to get some parts made and I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, I am back and we've got all sorts of goodies ready to go in our smeltery. So now, it is time to start actually making some Tinker's tools. Now, the first thing we're going to need to make the good tools is we're going to need a tool forge. And I was just using copper blocks since I had a lot of it. And the smeltery ore doubles the copper, so I had plenty. Now, for the actual tools themselves, I think I'm just going to start out with plain old iron tools. I think that's probably going to be the best way to go because it'll be a resource that we'll end up with quite a lot of, which means we can repair our tools fairly easily, and the durability on it isn't super terrible either. 
Um, I know a lot of people say that with tinkers, you should start with a stone uh, tool because you can just repair it with cobblestone, but nah, I'm not big on that. I'd rather have something that, uh, you know, works a little bit better. So let's do the hammer first, because that is without a doubt going to be the most important one. And then once that's done, we can consider uh, like a lumber axe and some of that other kind of stuff too. So let's see, we also need the tough rod. And, hmm, we should probably go ahead and get these ones ready. Because I'm going to want to make these parts out of iron as well. And then the rest, if I need to, I'll make the rest out of bronze. That should get the job done. And it is night, so let's sleep before a creeper comes and blows up our progress or something. That would be rather annoying. There we go. Get a little bit of that. And what are we still missing? Excavator head. So there's quite a bit of the iron gone, although we're going to get a little bit more here from this iron ore that smelled dime out of lava. Just totally realized that. Okay, so about that. We got 13 ingots. Ooh, that's cutting it a little close. Although, what's left? Um, I suppose we could do the plates on the lumber axe and the excavator out of bronze. That might be... Hmm. Or maybe we'll do the tool rods on the excavator and the lumber axe out of bronze. So we'll get two of those. We can do the plates. How much we got left in here? 34. We can do the plates out of bronze. I think. I hope. There's one. And two. Whoa, we're cutting it real close. I think we'll be all right, though. Yeah, they'll be basically bronze tools except for the heads. And then we'll just go ahead and make those bindings out of bronze too. They're not going to be perfect tools. They're not going to be end game tools, but they will get the job done. And that's the important thing. There we go. All right. Let's put all of those away. And now the moment that we have been waiting for, we'll do a full iron hammer. We'll do an iron and bronze lumber axe. And we'll do an iron and bronze excavator. There we go. So we've got ourselves some tinker tools. And now I can really get some actual mining and resource gathering done so that hopefully next episode we can build ourselves a little bit of a starter house or something like that. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you're looking forward to more from this mod pack, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. If you have suggestions for mods that you might want to see in the pack, feel free to put those in the comments below as well. Ooh, leg spike. Auto save, probably. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.